looking to expand your productivity and port selection, check out the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock from Sonnet Tech. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I hope you are as excited as I am because we are checking out Sonnet Tech's Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock. Stay tuned with me as I show you all the specs of this, how it works, how it can use it with my iPad, and a possible better upgrade option towards the end of the video. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Hey, before we get too far into this, I gotta come clear and make sure you guys know this is a sponsored review. They paid me to make this video. At the same time, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to give this a fair review. I will tell you the good and I will tell you the bad. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments and I will answer them as honestly as I can. If it helps at all, Apple Insider staff have been using Sonatec for more than 25 years. I don't mean cumulatively, I mean individual staffers at Apple Insider have used Sonatec for more than 25 years. And if that doesn't speak to the quality of their products, I don't know what does. So let's go ahead and talk about an honest review of the Sonnet Tech Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock. Ever since Apple made the move to Thunderbolt 4, I've been inundated with Thunderbolt 4 docks. There's some that I love and some that I don't love, but I've been very happy testing the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock from Sonnet Tech. Opening the box, you can see we have a pretty standard design for Thunderbolt 4 docks. It's got an extruded, anodized aluminum finish that pretty much matches Apple's design. It has the same colors and same kind of fit and finish to the outside. There's black plastic on their front and back and tons of ports, both front and rear facing. Aside from the dock itself, you're also gonna find everything else you need, including a quick start guide, a Thunderbolt 4 cable, and a power supply. So this is effectively the front of the Sonnet Echo 11. So starting on the far left-hand side, this is an SD card reader, full-size SD card reader, followed by a front-facing USB 2.0 port type A. Then you have your combo audio port, so input output, so you can connect things like a headset directly to this and interface that way. This is gonna be your primary connection point. This is your upstream Thunderbolt 4 port. This can deliver up to 90 watts of power to your Mac, or if you happen to have a PC. Following that, we have a couple more ports here. Uh, basically, just two little icons, as well as a power button, which is really handy. I found this power button really helpful. For those times where I wanted to just disconnect everything all at once, I didn't want everything drawing power, especially while I'm out of town. If I'm out of town for vacation uh, or leaving the office, I don't necessarily want all my drives to be spinning and everything all the time, connected, drawing power. I can just turn them all off with a press of a button. Flipping things around, starting on the side, more ports. We have our power input, that 135 watt power brick that is included. We have our trio of downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports. So connect more of your peripherals there. So whatever you may have, could be type C devices that you have that are just like storage containers. You may have additional Thunderbolt devices that you can connect, can connect here, such as uh, additional storage or cards. Whatever you have that is Thunderbolt connected can plug in here, including your external display. So plug in your monitor there all over Thunderbolt. Then we have our gigabit ethernet port so you can get your data, your LAN network, connect to the internet over wired versus wireless. Finally, a trio of USB three ports. These are going to be super speed ports so you can tell they're blue versus the front facing one that's black. So you can get more data off of these guys. I think the port selection on the Sonnet Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock is pretty on point. There's one thing that I personally am missing and that's gonna be a CF Express Type B card reader. I'm a content creator, everything I do is running on these CF Express Type B cards other than GoPros and a few smaller cameras where I do need to use SD. But for my main cards, these things don't have them. But I understand that's a little bit more of a niche card than not everybody uses, especially mainstream, it's usually in higher end cameras. So I get it. And honestly, Sonatech actually sells a Thunderbolt version of a dual CF Express card reader and I bought that and that's what I use every single day. I personally think that the Sonnet Echo 11 is going to be great for most people and it's the more affordable option. It's why this is the most popular dock they sell. But if you are someone who's looking for a little more power and flexibility, you got to check out this guy, which is the Sonnet Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 HDMI dock. So there's a couple changes here for actually that I want to point out. First up on the front, you're going to notice the difference in the USB to the USB 
type A ports. So they have moved from 2.0 speeds to USB 3.2 speeds. This is a super speed port. You can see he's got that blue piece on the inside. So you have faster data and power coming out of the USB port on the front of the device, which is very handy. Then we have our Thunderbolt port. So our upstream port has been upgraded from 90 watts of power to 100 watts of power. So you're gonna be able to charge your laptop even faster if you have something bigger like a 16 inch MacBook Pro. If we turn the whole set around to take a look at the rear ports on these two, um, all of our USB ports, these are all saying the same here on the back. Our Ethernet port, it's been getting an upgrade. Now it's a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port instead of just gigabit, so you're gonna get even faster uh, networking speeds here. And we have swapped one of those Thunderbolt 4 ports, so we had three on the regular Echo 11. Now we have two downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports alongside an HDMI. Sun said this was one of their biggest user requested features, easy connecting to a monitor with HDMI. So now that's possible for big changes here, including the HDMI port, and I think that's what makes the Sonnet Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 HDMI one the one to get. This is my preferred model, but if you're looking to save a little bit of money, the bottom one is not a bad option by any means. Look, the thing is, it's only a $40 price difference between these two different versions of the dock. For me personally, I think it's worth the price difference. For that difference in money, you're getting the HDMI output, faster charging to your Mac, you're gonna get the two and a half gigabit ethernet port on the back and a faster USB-A port on the front. Overall, I think that's worth it for the measly upgrade cost between the two. But at the same time, I still think most people are gonna be just fine with the base version of the Sonnet Tech Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock. What's also nice about Thunderbolt 4 docks these days is they're not just for your Mac or PC. Apple even allows these to work on iPad. I often will sit at my desk, plug in my iPad, use with an external display. I've got a card reader, I've got a power supply to it. I can even connect Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and have a whole desktop setup. And with iPad OS 17, it's pretty darn powerful. The new versions of Stage Manager has definitely been a nice upgrade. So these things have a lot of compatibility beyond just your standard Macs. So that's it, that's the Sonnet Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock, as well as the Sonnet Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 HDMI dock. I think these are both solid options for anyone out there who's looking to expand their workflow. If you're interested, you can check them out at the links down below in the description, and if you have any questions, throw them up down below in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got a lot more videos coming your way.